Well, hey everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how to make some very cute and adorable baby summer uh, bonnets. These are those cute, adorable bonnets that you see babies wearing. And I'm just using a ball to illustrate the shape of it. So I'm gonna show you how to make the back part, the crown and the brim. And they look difficult to make. And let me tell you, honestly, they are, they were at first. When I started making uh, making these, it was a little hard for me to figure out. But today I'm gonna show you how easy and simple it is for you to make these adorable bonnets for kids. And they can be, let's see if I have one that's reversible. And they can be fully reversible. So let me show you how easy it is. Um, you want to start with any basic uh, baby bonnet headband. And you're going to need three pieces of fabric. You're going to need the back part, which as you can see is here. And you'll need the brim which goes there and then you have the brim i'm sorry this is the crown then you have the brim part of the hat okay now how you do this and where it gets a little difficult this is also kind of similar to the children's bucket hat i showed you in another video here i have two that are finished and that's what you want to do. You need two separate ones that are finished. Now, if you don't want it to be reversible or you don't want to use fabric, um, you know, you, you don't want it, you, you don't want to be uh, fabric on the inside. You just want a plain lining, then just use plain fabric. Now, once again, once you have your two bonnets completed, you just put them together with the fabric facing each other facing together, the right sides of the fabric facing, and then you're going to stitch all the way around the entire hat. And you might want, you leave a little bit of an opening towards the back so you can flip it inside out. Um, and you can also, later when you're done, you're just going to add your ribbon stitching to the edges. Now here's where it gets tricky. Let me see if you can see this really well. You take the back piece. Remember that flat piece I just showed you? Oh, what did I do with it? Okay. There's this one flat piece that kind of looks like a garage door or an opening. And you're going to have your crown part. And you're actually stitching these two pieces together. Now, it may help you until you get the hang of it to pin it together. As you can see, you, you've pinned that flat piece to your crown part and then also your brim, but don't worry about that for right now. Okay, so you've got your flat piece, you've got your other brim, your crown piece cut out and you're gonna just pin it and then stitch this all the way around. I hope you can see that really well. You wanna pin first and then pin all the way around and just stitch this all the way around, okay? That's attaching the back part of the bonnet to the crown part, okay? Once you get that sewn, take your pins out, okay? And remember, it's the right sides of the fabric facing uh, when you're pinning. Then you want to take your brim and pin it to the crown, so you've got your back of your baby's bonnet, you've got the crown part of the baby's bonnet, and then you've got the brim. And once again, you're just going to pin it and attach it all the way around. Now, one thing why it may seem difficult is because you've got to kind of curve this fabric. So as you go along, oops, let me show you what I mean. You, when you have it pinned, you've got to pull... You should do this a little bit at a time. So you have your fabric here, and then you, you put your pin in. 
because it, as you're gathering it and keeping it nice and neat as you go along, it's going to give you that curvature that you want, okay? And then once you've finished all your sewing, let me get one that's not pinned so I don't stab myself to death here. Once you've stitched all the way around, and I think you can see this pretty good, and then you've stitched the brim to the crown, you stitch that all the way around, and now if you just flip this one piece inside out, you see now it has taken shape of a baby's bonnet. Very cute. And remember, you're going to make two of these, put the right sides together, fold them in on each other, line up your edges, stitch all the way around the outer part of the brim, past the crown, and then here in the back, leave a small opening so you can flip it inside out. So that is all there is to it to make these cute, adorable baby bonnets. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Oh, and I know everybody's gonna ask me which pattern did I use? And you know, it really doesn't matter which baby bonnet pattern you use. They all seem to be pretty much cut the same because you're gonna need a back piece you're going to need the crown piece, and then you're going to need the brim, okay? Three pieces of fabric, uh, three pieces of fabric, cut two of them, stitch them together, and you'll have these cute, adorable baby bonnets in no time. And you can obviously do these in white for christening bonnets or christening hats. Um, even for older children. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you keep, keep in touch and please subscribe. And I'll put as much information as I can about the different patterns that I use um, for this particular project down below. So thanks for watching and have a great day.